All right, so this is Ollie's little gear corner. So I'll start here. So I have this sign um, and then I painted his name and then I painted like the frame green and then added um, little clips here for photos. And then I have this hanging with clip, um, like mug hooks, C hooks, um, screw hooks, I guess, like into um, the studs, like here and here. So that way it um, stays in the wall really well. <laughs> um, and then I have them also hanging here, here, and then on each side here, and then on the bottom as well. And then I have just a normal like copper pipe. And then I did put the little caps on it. Um, and then I have these S hooks off of Amazon that just look like this that I have like his gear hanging off of. So that's how that's set up. So on the first hook here, I have his leashes hanging up. Um, here I have his pull straps hanging. Um, I put like some stuff here. Right now it just is holding um, like clips and stuff, um, hooks. And then here I have his leash wraps. So these um, hang off of like binder clips, if you can see. And that's just been the easiest way for me to organize them. Um, and then I have his patch tabs here. Um, and then I have like his collars, um, my like training pouch, um, his capes and his like handles here hanging and his harnesses here. And on this wall, I have all of like his bandanas. So I just made um, this using like a piece of wood from Home Depot and then I glued the clothes pins on and I'm like every like couple inches or something. Um, and then I just fold them up and hang them, see? Um, and I mean, it works really well. So I have all of his bandanas there. And most of these bandanas um, are from like Amazon. I have made some of them. Um, if you have specific questions, just let me know <laughs> and I'll let you know where it's from. And then here I have all of his patches organized. So I'll just go through his patches super quickly. So these are from um, Patients and Love on Amazon, Writing Retrievers. Amazon. All these are from Amazon. Um, these are from Siren Song Creations on Etsy and I think it's Siren Song Studios on Instagram. Um, Roll of the Dice Dog Gear on Etsy. Um, these, all of these are from Amazon. Um, Running Retrievers again. Um, Patience and Love on Etsy. Amazon, Amazon, Amazon. Patience and love, I got that in the wrong color accidentally. Um, these are from Amazon. Um, this comes on the One Tigress um, tactical vest. And then these are from Roll of the Dice um, dog gear on it. And then when I ordered um, these ones, um, the reason why I have so many is because when I ordered the set, um, there was an issue with a lot of the patches, so she just went and sent me a new set. So, um, if you want these, please message me, um, and I'll give them to you for pretty cheap. Right, so, I'll go through leashes next. So, um, this is just a leather um, over-the-shoulder leash with brass hardware. This is from Bridgeport, um, and I really like it. I just don't use it super often. I have just this normal, it's a pretty short um, rope leash from Walmart that I just use when I take them to, like, to the groomer and stuff. I don't use this super often, but I do have it. And then the one that I use most often, this one is from CSJ Creations on Etsy. Um, and this is just an over the shoulder, um, like multi-purpose leash. I think it's 
uh, six feet or five and a half feet or something. Um, but I got it in like brass hardware. Um, I got it with like the stopper. So this is the white and the deep green. Um, and I love it. And I got it with um, an attached uh, traffic lead. So I use this most often and I really like it. And I do have this um, traffic lead from Wag on Pet Gear on um, on Instagram and it has an O-ring and I got this with brass hardware to match that. This is in the heavy duty biothane though. Next I have these two pull straps. I think they're um, 12 inches or 10 inches or something. Um, this one is just white with brass hardware from CSJ Creations. And then this one is from Wagon Pet Gear and this one is the heavy duty biothane with brass hardware as well. And next I have leash wraps. So um, this one is double-sided. It, it says in training on one um, and then it has the icons on the other side. And this one is from Pond Puppies. Um, I have this one, which is double-sided, but it's the same. Um, and this one is from Patience and Love on Etsy. Um, I have these two. Let's see. I have this one that says in training and this one in deep green and then it has black uh, writing and it says I work for her and these are from Siren Song Creations and then I have um, these two they're from the same this came um, with the like patch set um, but I wasn't super happy with the quality on like the inside the embroidery and the embroidery was kind of messed up so um, she really worked with me which was super sweet and she um, sent me a new one you can just see how much nicer this one is and i really love it um and this is from roll of the dice dog gear um on etsy so next i have patch tabs um so this one is from pond puppies and it says dog may jump to alert this one is from patience and love and it's the vinyl um this is vinyl as well and then this one is also vinyl on this side on the other side it isn't but it says um ford momentum pulling service dog um and this one is from a uh, roll of the dice dog gear uh, so i have this one that i use all the time since ollie's still in training um this is from pond puppies that matches i do also have um this so it's like a velcro one so you can choose like whatever patch you want and add it on top and use it as a patch tab and it's double sided. I just put this on cause it, um, the little like hooks that come with it don't fit on <laughs> the one Tigris um, tactical vest, like little uh, D hook. So, um, and this one is off of Etsy and this is by Stitch by uh, Issa Designed or something like that. If you can't find it, let me know and I'll send you the link. And the patch uh, on this one is just from Patience and Love and it's just for EDS awareness. So it says Eller Stainless Mobility Sport and I got it with the green. I know it's not EDS colors, but matches the rest of his gear. So I got it in green. And I do also have this. Um, this is from Patience and Love and it just says um, emergency info inside and then medical alert and response. So I would put this on Ollie if it's like summertime and I don't want to put a full cape on him or a vest on him I can just attach this to um, his harness um, and this is the vinyl from Patience in Love. So next up I have collars so this one is like a normal like belt buckle one um, and this is from Wagon Pet Gear um, and this is the heavy duty biothane and I really really like it and it looks great on Ollie so this is, we just got this, all this stuff from Wagon Pet Gear we just got, um, like, a couple weeks ago, last week. So, um, before that, we had been using this one, which is just, like, a rolled leather one from, like, Tractor Supply. <laughs> and this is what we used for a really long time until we got this one. So, next are his prong collars. So, this is the one that I started Ollie on. This is just a really cheap one from Tractor Supply that I don't really use anymore, um since we got this one and this one is a white biothane cupboard this is from messy poodles 
on Instagram. Um, and I got it with a quick release buckle. And then I also have a backup strap on it um, just to be safe. And I really, really like this. I think it's really nice and you can't, when it, you have it on them, you can't really see that it's a prong collar. So you don't have random people coming up to you telling, that you're, <laughs> telling you that you're abusing your dog. Next, I'll do like harnesses, capes, um, and like his vest. So this is what we started <laughs> training Ollie on. Um, and it's just like off of Amazon, super cheap. And we don't use this very often at all anymore, unless it's like going somewhere really, really where he would get really dirty. So, or like wet or something. That's the only time we really use it. Other than that, we use his other harnesses. This is our brand new, <laughs> um, Biothane, uh, Y front harness. So this is from Wagon Pet Gear on Instagram. Um, and it's beautiful. <laughs> it is double layered, heavy duty biothane. So it has the deep green and white with brass hardware. Um, and it has an attached or a fixed um, counterbalance handle. And I think it's the semi-rigid uh, counterbalance handle. And it does have guide compatibility as well. Um, and I got it adjustable, so it's adjustable everywhere here here and then even at the front it's adjustable um and then i did get it with a quick release buckle as well on the front of this i do have uh one of the like y front uh velcro things and i'm not going to mention where this is from because i'm not super happy with the quality um, but I do have a running retrievers patch on top that says access required by federal law. So this is what his setup looks like and it's absolutely beautiful. I am so happy with the quality of this. Like I can't even tell you it is gorgeous and I'm, I'm like really, really pleased. And it does have, um, the D rings on the back so I can attach a cape as well. And I did get, um, a guide handle with it. Um, and it's just in like the deep green and it has the bridge here. Um, and I also got it with the brass hardware, of course, to match. And it's absolutely beautiful. And it is double layered um, biothane and it's really, really nice. And on the side, this is the name of the gear shop, if you were curious. So it's like wag on, really cute. I would definitely recommend um, looking into their stuff. It's all customizable. So you can literally do anything you want and um, I'm really, really happy with it. It was definitely worth the investment for sure. So I would recommend. And then this is Ollie's um, Bridgeport. So this is the first one that we got. Um, and it has a three inch fixed um, handle on top of it. I can't remember what they call it with Bridgeport, um, but I got it in the white leather um, and it automatically comes with brass hardware, so I really like that. So I have the um, guide handle, but I rarely use the guide handle with it. Um, but I do use the fixed three inch handle all the time. So next are his capes. Um, so, and I just have these like hanging off of binder clips as well. They just hang really well. Um, so I will go through everything on here. This is the one tigress tactical vest and this is obviously in the black and it's the short version I think um and I think it's a convertible vest to cape but I really only use this as a cape um and let's see on here these are from um Siren Song Creations on Etsy um this patch on here is from Patience and Love with the icons and then on the top um, this one says, in case of, of emergency, do not separate service dog from handler, patience and love. These two are from Running Retrievers. Questions, go to ada.gov. <laughs> um, and this one says, follow us on Insta and then our handle. This is Ollie's custom patience and love cape. Um, we have not gotten to use this yet. I'm waiting until... He graduates so this will be like a huge celebration but I got this as a Christmas present um, from my parents which was super super sweet so um, this is the white vinyl so it matches 
like all the other white vinyl stuff from Patience and Love. Um, and let's see, on the sides, it says service dog may jump to alert. Ignore me, I'm working. And then has the icons, obviously the same on the other side. And then on the top, it says multi-purpose service dog. Ignore me, I'm working. Access required by federal law. Emergency info inside. In case of emergency, do not separate dog from handler. Has the icons here. And then I did get like the greenery type of like design around it and it looks absolutely beautiful and it matches let me show you this matches his brand new harness so well <laughs> like I did not think it was gonna match very well um but it looks absolutely beautiful with it so I'm so excited until I can put this on him I cannot wait and just a couple other things that I would like to mention so um this is my treat bag and it's from Wild One. Um, and I always have like wipes in here. Um, sanitizer, of course. Um, and I love that it has the poop bag dispenser on the side. Um, and then it has like um, a separator. So I put like his normal treats in one side and then his high reward treats in the other. Um, and I just wear this like around me, like over the shoulder. Um, and I really, really like this. It's very expensive um, for what it is, but I have been using this constantly and I love that it's magnetic um, and I don't have to zip anything up. So I really do like this. Before that, I used this um, and this is from Target. So this is what I used as our treat pouch and it's just a fanny pack. Um, and I have like similar stuff in here wipes, um, paper towel, just cause your hands get grimy. Um, and then I would put his treats like in a Ziploc pouch in here to keep this from getting kind of icky on the inside. Cause the inside isn't like that vinyl. It's like a cotton fabric. So, but if, um, you can't get and afford like the wild one, something like this definitely works or just any fanny pack off of Amazon would do. Just a couple other odds and ends like clickers for clicker training um I do have this um poop pouch I thought it was bigger when I ordered it so I was gonna use it as like a, um a treat pouch and a poop pouch but not big enough for that um but it does have like the little things here so you can either clip this on or you can attach it to a leash which I do like so I use that for the, use that for like walks and stuff but um and then this is of course you gotta have with these please have a seatbelt for your dog i do have this um i think this is just off of amazon and i would use this for like big hikes or something i wouldn't go on hikes without my wheelchair but if i needed to have ollie carry something um i could attach this to his one tigress and it does have like Velcro here so you can put like a service dog pouch or, patch or something on here. Um, I also have one of these like uh, plasticky rain jackets. Um, and I also do have just like a winter one. Um, and it does have a little uh, pocket on the back of it um, and a spot for you to like attach the leash to um like the harness or vest or if you have something like that um and we just use this to kind of keep ollie covered up when it snows and stuff so yeah we use this a lot in the winter and i do have these booties off of amazon i don't love the quality i probably need to get new ones for him um but we do use these all the time when it's summer <laughs> definitely because it gets super super hot here it can get like over 100, 115 degrees, especially like on the hot pavement, please, please, especially on pavement and when it's hot outside like that, you need to have your dog wearing booties. Um, nothing else really works the same. Um, and we also have like foxtails and stuff out here that can get stuck in their paws. So whenever it's that type of situation, I always put booties on him just to protect his pads. And then I also have ADA cards. These are just off of Amazon. Um, super, super helpful to have, just to have on you. Always have them 
and my purse and his vests and everything. So um, always have those. And then I do have these um, bandanas for like Christmas, like this. And then these are bagdanas from So What Co. Um, and they're super, super cute. And you can see these um, on my Instagram as well, close up. Um, but they're super cute and they have a zipper. So you can just like use this as a bag. And I, we've done that like for Christmas time. I just put one of these on him and it looked super cute. And I just put like my medication in the little bag, Dana. So it's helpful to have if you can do it. And then we just have this, which is like his roll up um, dog mat. So like when we go into restaurants and stuff, we have that. And of course we have toys and um, mind puzzles for him and treats and food galore everywhere, kind of all over the house, honestly. Um, and we have stuff for like other Christmas themed stuff or holiday themed stuff, um, but not super important. But if you have any questions or anything like that, I probably forgot something or messed something up. So uh, feel free to comment below and I will get back to you. So thank you for watching this. I hope this was somewhat helpful. Hope I didn't ramble on too much. Um, and Ollie and I hope you have a good day. Bye.